In this video, I want to show you how to make regression analysis if you don't have Excel Miner uh, add-on. Uh, this was one add-on uh, that helped us to make uh, regression analysis so we could put the numbers in and then simply select the cell and it will show us the important co coefficients uh, for regression analysis. But uh, lately I saw that uh, some users cannot use it anymore. Uh, some users told me that they use it in a different browser, but this is just one help. So uh, our life is a little bit easier, but of course we can also do it manually and I will show you how to do this. So the first thing I will show you the coefficients that we will get with, um, with add-on. So Excel Miner, okay? So we will click uh, Excel Miner Analysis tool pack. Uh, of course, I will not uh, explain what regression analysis is. Uh, we will just, sh I want uh, to show you just how to make it if you don't have Excel Miner, okay? Uh, so we will click on linear regression. And uh, today I have one simple example of NFL teams. And we have here yards per play and we have uh, points per game. And I want to see the correlation between them. Uh, and I will use uh, points per game as dependent variable and yards per play as independent variable. Okay, so the first thing I will select points per game, click them here. Then I will select yards per play. I will click here. And then I will simply select one cell, okay, where I want that the results are output, okay. And we have regression analysis coefficients. So I want to see those numbers, right? Uh, I, I want to see do, those numbers uh, and some other numbers we, we will see, okay? The first thing you can do, you can uh, select the chart, okay? This is one way. Uh, we have the chart and if you click on customize, click on series, uh, scroll down, click on trend line because what we want, we want to um, get the equation of this slope, right? And uh, uh, we, if you click on show R square, you get the first number, okay? This is this number, and then you simply click use equation, and you will get 7.31 multiplied by x plus minus 16, and those are these two coefficients, okay? You need 7.31 and you need uh, minus uh, 16, okay? Um, how you can use this, I will just make one more space here. Okay, we can say expected points, points per game, and then we have simply, and then we have simply uh, independent variable, we have intercept and we have uh, and we have the, those numbers. So I will simply use I will simply use intercept uh, plus this number multiplied by this number and I will get accepted, uh, not accepted but expected points uh, per game, okay? And I will just anchor these numbers Okay, not e2, this one, because the coefficients will stay the same, right? And I will just drag down and we will get expected points for every single team. This is very simple uh, uh, explanation, okay? But you can also do this on a little bit different way with the function Linus. And I will show you this, okay? So you will start typing Linus, okay? And then we will select uh, dependent variables and next one we will select uh, independent variables and just type one one because we want that it will display more more numbers more coefficients and we will get the same number so as you see those two numbers are those two numbers right so you can type it here intercept okay variable one okay i will make it with the red Okay, those two numbers are our standard error, okay? Okay, as you see, those two numbers, right? Those two numbers. Then we have, this is R square, okay? And 
we have standard error here for the uh, for the analysis standard error and we have 57 and 30 residuals and we have F okay and the the last two numbers are those two numbers okay SS and we have those important numbers with the linest function okay uh, the next thing I want to show you how to do this with a multiple regression okay so we will click the, another tab and I will show you this one more time. So if we have, uh, for example, if we have uh, uh, the dependent variable, let's say that this is the dependent variable and that we have three other uh, independent, okay? So with add-ons, we simply click start, click linear regression, select this, select those three, Click it here. Okay, I will just make a little bit more space here. Uh, and then I will simply select one cell, for example, here. Click it uh, output range. Click it OK. And I will get these coefficients. Okay. And I can do this again with the multiple uh, regression with the linus. So I will use linus function. Uh, and I will uh, select uh, uh, this one first, okay, and then all others, okay, and I will type one one, so it will output the rest, okay. We don't need this, uh, so let's check what are the, the what are these numbers. The, the only thing you need to remember is that. Uh, they are reversed numbers here. So uh, here with the old uh, add-ons Excel minor, the intercept number was the first one. Here we have uh, vice versa. So this is the intercept, okay? This is the one, this is two, okay? Three, okay? And these coefficients you will need when you will uh, uh, calculate, let's say, expected points per game, right? Uh, those are the most important numbers here. Then, of course, uh, we have uh, multiple R, right? This is uh, this is um, this is this number for this variable and so on. Then we have 0.8.5 R square. Okay. Uh, this is standard error, okay, um, and we have R square. We have um, we have um, uh, uh, this one uh, F right, and we have also this number SS. So we have those numbers, and how you can calculate it here? I will just make it like this, uh, and of course you can use these numbers. Uh, to calculate. So first is intercept plus uh, variable variable one is this one, right? So you must be careful. So plus this coefficient multiplied by this plus this coefficient multiplied by this one plus uh, plus this coefficient multiplied by this. Okay. So you can do this, and then you simply anchor. Uh, the, the the numbers here, the coefficients, right? And simply drag down, okay? So you will get the same numbers as if you would use uh, um, add-ons Excel minor. Okay, I hope this was helpful and I wish you good luck by building your own unique methods, your own unique sports betting models. Thank you and see you the next time.